Welcome back to Trek Yards, everybody. He is Commander Cox. He is Captain Foley. I am. And today, we're going to take a look at the Picard Season 2 trailer, mm -hmm. uh, the latest one. Uh, we got We've a got a new ship. Painting. We've got a new ship painting. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about the alternate reality Enterprise D or Galaxy class designed by Sean Churinjo. Mm -hmm. um, he was designed of the Titan. This is now his first cannon ship from scratch cannon as opposed to Titan, which was then put back into cannon by low deck. So congrats. Good job. Looks like sad to see not in painting form because it hides a few of the things about it. Although it's also when you start breaking down, you can see some things. Uh, and this is the alternate reality Evil a timeline version. I'm gonna kind of calling it Warship Enterprise D because we've had Warship Voyager. Uh, clearly, the painting is a a testament to its brutality because it's blowing up multiple Borg ships with weapons blazing. Uh, but it's uh, different yet the same. We've got a few interesting shots here to talk about. But let's go for first reactions though. Here's the shot, slightly air, air enhanced and brought to full screen. What do you think? Uh, when I first saw it, I was like, "Ooh, interesting." And then I saw it again the second time, and I'm like, "Ah." Okay, and that's the third time I'm like, oh. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, I gotta say. That secondary hull just looks like crap, in my opinion. Uh, the, the saucer's an interesting take on it, but I gotta see it in more detail. Hopefully there's a flashback or some kind of uh, action scene. Um, yeah, I, I guarantee, Slash, it's what I would do, is have a de-aged Picard in the proper evil universe uniform on this thing, see, you know, green screen bridge, and it's like an evil version of D-Bridge. It's like, ah, oh, I'm evil, Patrick. I was like, oh god, damn, we need that. The con, you know, the butcher of Veltak Toon. It's like, oh god, the Borg Basher. Yes, yes, he destroyed three Borg ships before we even knew the Borg. This could be the this could be the 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 alternate universe battle of Wolf Three Five Nine for all we know. Oh, there was no battle, Stuart. This thing just walked in and wrecked shop. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So we don't know what changed in the timeline, but certainly something that led to a powerful new future. So, and this is a, because we saw in his original version of the, of the office, there's a nice, beautiful classic painting of the D. Yes, that's the one that was in his ready room in the series as well. Exactly. So, so my first reaction is, obviously his Enterprise D variant. Like, I, I like the fact that it feels so faithful. The secondary hull felt, felt to me like a, a novelist that sketched something lo-fi and uh, out of shapes. Because a couple of books, I remember, um, God, the New Worlds book series, I believe they were called. Where they had to like kit bash a whole lot of Federation ships. It's like, well, it's, they're not really designed so much as put together. And that secondary hull gives me a vibe of. I mean, it's so low detail; it's really hard to see detail. It's just sort of sh shapes, and the nacelles look less nice for what I can see. But I, d I do like the saucer in generalness. You know, given the NX01 style cutout, certainly gives the aggression feel. The saucers are so smooth and curved and lovely. Add some cutouts. Oh, now they're suddenly sharp. I would be interested to see how the proportions had changed, or have they just taken the exact space frame of the D and just done these changes, but kept the proportions the same? Because then how would it feel in motion? Because the D feels a very certain way in motion. The one thing I'm wondering is with the way that center is designed, uh, we get a better look at it later because of... But uh, I wonder if there's some kind of articulation. Like, the saucer almost like pushes in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just like... to kind of butt up to those, and then maybe spread out. I mean, we see sh ships that do that kind of thing in Star Trek Online and stuff. It would be interesting if that was the case. Because I would, because when I see this, I picture big phase cannons, like all good things style, not that big, but all, all good things style cannons in those slits. You can, I think you can see one. Looks like a tube shape. I, mean, I don't know. That's a problem. So if those things are like locked in and they open, like attack mode, and then they fire, and that's like, that would be a symbolic death knell. But they're so strong, you gotta. That would be great. I don't know. But here's a direct comparison with the ILM created Enterprise D model for generations, then using Voyager, etc. What's great about this model is that it was used, it was modeled to reflect the, you know, the, the big giant miniature, because it was using generations. So it's nice, smooth, sleek, and used pictures of the actual miniature as a texturing. That's why it kind of looks so real, because it is real texturing just modeled onto a model. So that's, I can try to match the angles. Obviously, not trying to be the same ship, but now you see them side by side. What do you see? What do you notice? Well, one of the first things I noticed is the nacelles um, being much smaller and the secondary hull, again, kind of just throwing me off. Just from the neck down on this one, on the painting, it's just kind of like, eh. I think there's something about it just feels weird. I mean, I guess the saucer's a bit of a different shape. It's similar. Yeah, it's just the cutouts that just changes the vibe entirely. I mean, the neck looks the same, which I like. It felt like the secondary hull pylons were different, but I think they're about the same. 
I mean, it tells reasons to change, but it, you just look at that D and think, God, that's a nice looking ship. You look at a new one and think, that's a ship. Honestly, though, the the new one we're talking about here it looks like a very much like an STO ship. Like, uh, yeah, variant, yeah. But it, but it, but it is a good job of being so faithful, etc. So I did a quick Photoshop to kind of separate it from the background, to see if that would help potentially. So I tried to find the outlines, just to give it more focus before we go into the other pictures. Uh, it needs two spikes on the front, so it could be like the bat, the bat starship. Yep, bat it looks like a starship. Cylon Raider or a Batwing. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great to see this thing in in the show. Like I hope, I hope we do get a few shots of it. You need to, yeah. I mean, they have an Enterprise D model because we saw it. But good to see more of it. But Stuart, set up the next thing because the next thing is a real Ooh. treat. Yeah, I was on Twitter uh, the night before filming this and uh, saw that USS Aventine on Twitter um, did a quick sketch of what he imagines the ship to look like based on the details. So I tweeted at him and asked if we could use it and he said he would be honored. So here we are and here it is. And boy, if that's a quick sketch, he's too talented. <laughs> I, I do really, I've always did a little bit of brief back and forth. I would disagree with some of the choices here, but based on like what he's done, small things. But vi I think he's rather than maybe trying to be per fully faithful, I think he's tried to like finish the design with missing pieces because this looks really cool to me. Yeah, really, really Lot cool. Lots of photon torpedo launchers and the cutouts. And one thing I noticed here that I didn't notice on the painting until you go back and take a look at it is the, the deflector being up so high. I was, cause I was wondering where it was in the secondary hall. I did never even... I'm glad that he drew that because I went back and looked at the other painting and, and yeah, you can see it there. Yeah, once so you see it, it's hard to not see it, but it's so hidden. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it really gives off massive Akira vibes now because that is literally almost how this, the secondary hull, of the, the deflector in the primary hull looks, even there's the, the same grooves. So this might even be in their timeline like a, 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 an Enterprise D refit, like a tack refit because it's still using so much of the space frame. But boy, a lot of phaser strips, a lot of detailing. I, I quite like the shuttle bay variants in the secondary hull. That's kind of a, if that, I don't think that's necessarily what they are, but if it's all one big shuttle bay, or at least mostly, that's a really cool visual. Oh, you know, weapons in the front, shuttles, well, fighters, fighters in the bottom in this in this reality. I don't think themselves are at all what he drew, but I like them fine. But I, I love the, the gradienting of the, the main hull. In this version, how it kind of elegantly goes in, and then, like I say, torpedoes in the slits look mean and vicious. Yeah, like I thought, I had saw a cylindrical type um, weapon coming out of one of this one slit on the left side. Looks like there's a tube there, almost casting a shadow as well. Um, here, he's got just like a photon torpedo launcher there. Yeah, it's still Which... a fan's perspective, although obviously really yeah. cool to see. Should have, we should have called up Sean and said what's going on. <laughs> I don't know how much you could share though, so. That, yeah, NDS exists for a reason. <laughs> but it's super refreshing to see, and if you obviously briefly scroll back, uh, the fans can see the side by side. And yeah, it uh, brings it all to life, although like I said, I disagree with some of the things, but I think he's just tried, said try to finish it. And it looks great. It's it's super dynamic. I mean, it, it's not like a good looking Starfleet ship by any means, but it's not a Starfleet ship. You know what I mean? Though That's good. You know, if that was a brief to kind of reverse engineer a warship version by kind of retract, detracting things and, and move this there. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought to move the deflector into the primary hull, but I think that looks really cool. And you can imagine a source separated version will look like a bat wing and really elegant in yeah. motion yeah. with all its torpedo launchers well, flaring. A lot of these changes make sense in this design too, because you've got the secondary hull taking up a big part of that saucer, uh, a lot less saucer room, um, a lot, uh, like if, the, if that is shuttle bays down there, that's all focused down there, which makes sense because there wouldn't be families on board. You got all this extra space in the saucer, um, some decks that go unused in the galaxy class. So, once weapons, you make a warship, yeah, once you make it a warship, exactly, you know, shove a lot of weapons and, and stuff in there. So, yeah, no, I think we're going to see you know a giant, you know, fighter launching element, but hey, throw it, throw it at us. You designed it, show it, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to seeing it. Hopefully we do see a flashback or two, but um, there you go, guys. That is our look. So comment down below what you thought, and uh, thank you to ISS Aventine on Twitter for allowing us to share this. We really appreciate that. Keep up the good work. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, comment down below what you guys think. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification icon so you can join us for lives where we talk about this stuff live with you guys, and you guys can 
give us your input and talk to us in real time and talk to the world on the internet. Mm. Yeah. And by putting a super chat comments through, the world can see here, and we can keep doing what we do because we'd like to. And we find you know it's quite important to us, etc. And if you want to support what we do in other ways, then you can of course by uh, go on to the uh, YouTube, clicking join, go on to Patreon, clicking join or whichever the button is for that. Donate on PayPal, trekkersahotmail.com, that is our PayPal, or shirts, etc. things down below. But really, just join in the live, say hi, super chat, and uh, yeah, have your voice be heard is a great way. That's right. So until next time, guys, I am Captain Foley. Ooh. I'm Connor Kongs. Yes, but are we the prime versions or the ultimate? You'll never know. Like well, you, you will, because we're nice. You can't. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait a room. Yeah. No. yeah. Bye, guys.